Another woman who may have thought she was headed for Easy Street is Darcy Lindenmeyer, a bartender from Rockford, Illinois. She worked at a local drinking establishment. That's where she met uh, Gilbert Lindenmeyer. They knew each other for a brief time, uh, and they got married. It's a marriage that Darcy soon thinks is a mistake, and three months after tying the knot, she starts looking for a hired gun. She went to uh, Rick Wheaton, and that was a former boyfriend of her daughter, at which time she asked if uh, he would kill Gilbert for $1,000. Frightened, Wheaton goes to the police, and that is where undercover agent Wellbank of the Illinois State Police steps in. The sting is set up inside a car at a local shopping center. Okay, and you don't, you don't just want to beat up. You know, I just want to... He ain't living anymore. He ain't living anymore? Well, I don't want him to live anymore. No, he ain't living anymore once we're done with this. Okay. But I want you to be sure, uh, you know, no, that I you don't. understand what you're yeah. doing because, you know, he's going to be dead in a couple hours. Okay, great. Fine. You fine? Yeah. Now, little man said a thousand bucks. You got it. I got 500 now. It won't take me long to steal the 500 up. She had a plan. Her plan was to run him off the road on his way to or from work. Uh, I explained to her when I met with her that, that couldn't, we couldn't guarantee his death doing that and that I would need to shoot him. And she said, uh, go for it. And it soon becomes clear that when it comes to the financial impact of the hired hit, Darcy Lindenmeyer has done her homework. My husband works for Chrysler and he's the chief engineer of the power plant. He brings home a thousand bucks a week. Yeah, not anymore. But I'll get all that. I get Social Security, which is 2999 bucks a month. Uh -huh. Get his retirement. Three fifty thousand dollar life insurance policy. Uh huh. For stocks and bonds. Right, I got everything I want. Uh, she provided money. We were en route to the uh, ATM to get more money. She provided a picture. Uh, she provided the car. There was no misunderstanding uh, as to their purpose in meeting me and what the aftermath would be. Okay. And we got a deal. All right. All right. But there's, there's, there's no going back. No. No. No, I've had it. It's been going on for three months. I married some and both. Uh -huh. I can't take it no more. I can't. I can't take it no more. Okay. That's enough for the arresting officers. Get up. Oh, get up. Hey, when they get up. No. Put your hand back in there. Put your hand back in there. But the strange story of Darcy and Gilbert Lindenmeyer doesn't end here. Shortly after that, we had a couple agents go and pick up Gilbert. And this is always one of the hard things in these cases, to tell the people that this is what happened. Gilbert's reaction is anything but the expected one. Maybe love does conquer all. He was trying to raise enough money to get her out. I met with him several times and explained to him that that, that could be a very serious mistake, that if he would have done that. Then, three months after Darcy pleads guilty... He died of a heart attack. Uh, and if she would have just waited, she would have gotten everything that she had hoped for. Darcy Lindenmeyer was sentenced to 22 years in prison. When we come back... What's the truth?